In this video, we talk about the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Uh, this chipset uh, actually convinced me to upgrade and jump into mobile gaming. So what makes this chipset so exciting to gaming? We're going to talk about all that in this video. So this uh, system on a chip is not yet another chip, basically. This is a relatively big upgrade compared to the previous generation. And this is a few highlights. This is from the official Qualcomm website. You can see uh, features Orion CPU, uh, up to 45 improved CPU performance and 44 more power efficiency. This is a custom built CPU, so not OEM, with the fastest mobile CPU speeds up to 4.32 GHz, largest shared cache in mobile industry. Also regarding to the GPU, Adreno GPU delivers up to 40% improved performance and 40% better power efficiency. So basically, your phone will get less hot, uh, less battery consumption, and overall uh, should provide better performance over time, so there's no degradation or less of it. And you can see it there, Android and GPU slice architecture deliver astonishing graphics in realistic environments while helping maximize performance and battery power. Also up to 27% overall system on chip power savings. Also, this is the first time we see support for Nanite. Uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 with Nanite produces film quality 3D environments for uh, total immersion. Speaking of which, this is Blackbit Wukong on the PC, which also developed using Unreal Engine uh, 5 with Nanite technology, and it looks absolutely stunning. So for those who are new to it, basically, uh, this is no gimmick. This is a technology that delivers amazing visuals, very high quality. Everything, if you are close or far, even look amazing with tons of details. You just won't believe it if you see it for the first time. It's great for open world games, but many other games can benefit from it. So regarding the adaptive performance engine, this um, help apps run better on Qualcomm devices by letting developers, basically it's an API, so developers can tell the system what the app needs. This way, the system can match the app's needs to the right parts of the phone's hardware, ensuring basically smooth performance and efficient power use without developers needing to manage the hardware specific themselves. The result is, of course, apps that work well across all Qualcomm devices uh, while balancing performance and battery life. And the game thread the scheduling strategy, basically, in simple terms, it's like a manager deciding which worker, by that I mean CPU core, does what job, like for example, game task, to make sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. This uh, helps in keeping the game running without lag and using the device's resources wisely. Now, ray tracing was also supported in the previous generation, but now we have 35% improved ray tracing performance. For those who are new to the term, basically ray tracing is technology that makes lighting and shadows in games look much better and more realistic. So it's now 35% better at tracing the path of light rays, which means you get more accurate and detailed visuals like realistic reflections and shadows while you're actually playing the game that supports it. Just know that this is from the official website for the Snapdragon 8 Elite, not from the desktop or anything, all right? Keep this in mind. The next thing is an upscaling technology, Snapdragon Game Super Resolution 2.0, that provides higher quality and lower latency, basically upscaling uh, low resolution games to higher resolution games while still keeping high fidelity visuals. This is used to increase performance, like used, for example, like DLSS uh, on uh, desktop, Basically, now that flagship had very high resolution displays, this of course also affects performance if it runs on native resolution. So this allows basically games to run uh, at low resolution, but uh, upscale to look still good, but run at higher frame rates. So this work uh, worth a uh, deeper look. So this is on the official Qualcomm website, Snapdragon Games Super Resolution 2. So as you can see here, uh, Right, explain basically uh, more in more details, but the bottom line is this one. So, uh, enhanced visual quality can transform full HD games into stunning 4K visuals. Improved performance games that previously ran at 30 FPS can now achieve 60 plus FPS. Again, you can spend time a bit read more detail uh, details about that. And extended battery life by optimizing performance and allowing for longer game session on the go while minimizing thermals. 
They also again give different examples and uh, uh, as you can see from the chart and also visual. This is essential, especially with the very high resolution of mobile displays. And you know, uh, you want to still experience high frame rate games and you want them high quality to look great on the screen. This is essential technology. So this is an improved version. Also think it's open source because they link to it in a repository on uh, GitHub, I think. Now the next one, which is called uh, Adreno Frame Motion Engine 2.0, as you can see, doubles the frame rate of games with little impact to power, so gamers can enjoy the benefits of high frame rates without worrying about their battery life. The way it works is by using artificial intelligence to predict what the next frame in the game will look like and then generating that frame before it actually needed. So this helps to reduce frame latency and make games feel more responsive. This is great for fast action games where you really want that uh, smoothness and basically um, instead of waiting for the game engine to generate the next frame entirely, the engine uses its understanding of the game's movement patterns in scene to predict what the next frame might look like. Now, of course, the better the technology is, the more accurate it is to predict basically the next frame. And of course, uh, although it, yeah, it does require additional processing power, it does have a minimal impact on battery life. So another technology, great, of course, this is another version, newer, improved version to help you get these uh, smooth battery, smooth frame rates, while actually not uh, impacting, it's not significantly upon the battery life. Uh, just so you know, get, this is the, the first Snapdragon uh, system on chip that uh, support Nanite uh, in Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, this is another, uh, this is from a PDF from, uh, the, about the Snapdragon 8 Elite. And uh, you can see here, uh, immerse yourself in pixel perfect AAA games with a remarkable 40% adrenal GPU performance improvements and 40% greater power efficiency. Now we can understand the things behind the, uh, the the performance and the battery power, which of course these things are essential for uh, mobile gaming. You can see the mobile first support uh, for Unreal Engine 5.3 with Nanite produced film quality 3D environment for uh, total immersion. But there's another thing here, you can see optimized performance and support of Unreal Engine Chaos Physics Engine authentically renders complex physics simulations in lifelike object interactions like a hyper-realistic avalanche, rockfall, or waterfall. So regarding that specific one, uh, about Unreal Chaos Physics Engine, basically it's a physics simulation system within Unreal Engine. Uh, this is developed by Epic Games. Uh, it's designed to create realistic and dynamic physical interactions in games and other interactive experiences. Uh, like for example, dynamic destruction, which allows for realistic destruction of objects in a game environment, like buildings collapsing or cars getting smashed. Uh, high fidelity simulations, which uh, allows you to create, uh, simulate, um, to be more precise, complex physical behaviors, such as clothes movement, fluid dynamics, and rigid body interactions. Also, uh, performance and scalability, uh, which is optimized for performance, enabling large-scale and high-fidelity simulations without significantly impact the game's performance. Now, you can see, by the way, in the official website, when they everything titled under full suit of Snapdragon uh, Elite gaming features. You can find more information on their official website. And just so you know, it's not just mobile-specific, it's also for their desktop uh, chipsets. That is to bring a large set of features that significantly improve the gameplay experience for those who are using uh, this uh, Snapdragon chipset for both mobile, laptop, and desktop. You can actually see here with the ray tracing, the difference with the ray tracing on and off. So this is off and you can see here with on, this is a significant difference. Uh, this particular uh, example, this is just great uh, way to actually show you the differences between them. And this is why I'm so excited to see improvement with ray tracing. And again, I'm so excited about this upcoming uh, chipset, mainly because all the features mentioned. I actually dig more about uh, each one because I really wanted to know more. I didn't know everything uh, beforehand, so I researched and shared it with you here. Yeah, and that's basically about it. There are of course, other many other improvements regarding AI and, of course, sound and more. But this is kind of specific about the gaming features mentioned. So there's a lot to wait for. And this is one of the main reasons I wanted to uh, upgrade my phone and jump into mobile gaming. Can't wait to see all of the games and all the things that developers will create and enhance their games using these technologies. Thanks for watching.